Shalom and good day, this is Tehillim29 back again for another anime review and for this anime review I'll be covering the Yuzuki family's four sons. I'll give a quick synopsis of what the series is about and then I'll move on to the episodes and also cover the synopsis of each episode as well as adding like additional content in relation to the episode and what I thought about each of the story. Now, for this, there are actually 12 episodes to the first season, and if it's one thing I really want to point out at the beginning, is that I'd really love to see a season two to this series, because season one was absolutely amazing. So, jumping straight into the synopsis, uh, family is everything. The four Yuzuki brothers lost their parents two years ago, and now work to raise themselves. Hayato, the eldest, then Makoto and Minato, and their youngest brother, Gakoto. Hayato works to provide and provides for the family. Makoto is relaxed and calm. Minato is full of energy, and Gakugo is wise beyond his years. Together, they live learn and fight and forgive as brothers should meet the yuzuki family all right i'll now move into the area of the episodes in relation to this series so as we jump into episode one it's called the yuzuki's house and uh, this is where we learn about of course all the brothers but this particular episode focuses on the third brother which is Minato and with this particular episode uh, we see that Minato wants to sort of like carry a little bit more responsibility in regards to sort of like helping out the rest of his brothers in stuff that he wants to do. Uh, we move into the second episode to which we actually learn a little bit more more about the second brother which is Mikoto and also his relationship with Minato and why he is the way he is around him we also do get some flashbacks in regards to Mikoto and Minato which is really great to see so jumping into episode three it's called something uh, something's bothering gakuto now in this particular episode even though it doesn't put up the synopsis uh one of the things that happens in this is that we get to see um gakuto has something on his mind that's wondering why like one of the neighbors sort of like is like watching over and checking up on him he has no idea what the character of this particular person is like and until of course a situation comes across in the story um, to which it actually opens up Gakuro to being looked after by the neighbors when Hayato is or not just Gakuro uh, but also Minato and also Makoto when Hayato is able to make it back home in time. And this is where we end up meeting these particular neighbors. We do eventually learn a little bit more about the situation. So jumping into episode four, which is called Hayato's Happiness. Now in Hayato's Happiness, uh, we have this story that's of course centered around Hayato uh more so in regards to the work that Hayato does we learned that he's actually a teacher but that is actually shown a little bit earlier in the previous episodes but in this part we actually get to see what he does throughout the day and also how his happiness is as important as everyone else's in the story now, jumping into episode 
five. It's called Uta's Love. Now, Uta is a friend of Minato, and we learned that these two have been really good friends basically since um, Gakuko, uh, Gakuto ended up making friends with like one of the neighbors over the street from him. And we learn that Uta is actually a girl who is a friend <laughs> um, of Minato. And uh, we do actually get to see a little bit more in regards to their story in further episodes. So even to where in, like when Minato first met Uta, um, he thought actually Uta was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> not a girl, but in return, we do get to see some of the things that, um, do somewhat hinder, um, Minato, so jumping into episode six, with this, the episode brings us a little bit further into Minato's story, uh, but of course, the outcome of Uta's love, which is what the episode is called, it's a pity that we don't actually have any synopsis here on Crunchyroll to explain like some of the things of what was happening. And whilst this story is occurring, um, we do seem to see it from oh, which brother's um, perspective. I think it's... Um, I think it's still Minato slash Makoto, um, and with it, we get to see, like, the after effects of, uh, Uta's date, uh, learning that Uta, in her date with the, or the date that she had, um, that they actually had a, a problem with how she dressed and the way they were, where with Minato's case, he loves his friend just the way she is. Nothing more, nothing less. And um, that's why he also, in a way, I guess has some hidden tendencies of love towards her, just because it is, her fr uh, it is his friend. Jumping into episode 7, it is called Minato's Encounter. The synopsis for this episode is Mi Minato first met his best friend Uta when they were elementary school students and Uta, who, um, of course, it doesn't show the rest here. I, I really wish Crunchyroll would sort of like fix up the synopsis for each episode to actually ha like have it show basically through any uh, device or app or even console to which you get a better understanding of the synopsis. It's just something I want to point out. Um, this is one where we get to see it from M Makoto's standpoint or viewpoint, and we get a bit of an introduction as to basically how they came to meet each other and also why in this particular situation that even Uta is having some problems, but we learned that Uta has a bit of a problem um, because of what has happened in her family, like, because we're dealing, like, with the family issues of the Yuzuki. That's not to say that um, other families outside of them also have their own issues too, and that does actually get addressed in the story. And in it, we learned that uh, Uta... Uh, was basically in a way bribed <laughs> by her father without even realizing that but also being as I, I guess trying to put on a, a tough persona around Minato only to learn that he too has also lost his parents realizing oh um that she didn't even realize she didn't pay attention she does actually apologize but they do end up becoming good friends and yes they even have play fights <laughs> jumping into episode eight um it's called gakuto secret to which we get the synopsis a class observation day was scheduled to be held at gaku's class However, Gaku was worried that he was sort of like unable to have anyone that would be there 
for his um, visitation. So they try to arrange with um, the neighbor to sort of like be there on the day. And because of that, uh, things slowly sort of like take a, um, a bit of a turn. And with this, um, we end up finding out that Minotaur actually hears what's going on. <laughs> and he tries to somewhat either respect Gakudo's feelings or go and arrange to see his brother on the observation day. Of course, we do get a bit of a flashback to when he had a visitation from his mother, like before they passed away. And with that, um, we do move into episode nine, which I think was fantastic as to how this story ended. And um, episode nine mean, being classroom visitation, Gakuro is keeping his class observation day from Hayato by using a standing. Uh, so in the process of this day, Maka uh, Makoto finally learns about Minato's secret about Gakuro and the visitation day or the observation day. And they arrange, or they both arrange to go and see their brother at the elementary school. So basically, they're skipping class just to go see their brother, <laughs> which is really funny. But I can really understand why they're doing it too. They want to be there to support their youngest brother. So, of course, news from this ends up reaching High Arto, who's in the teacher's office. And in the process, they arrange a substitute to take Hayato's place so that he too is able to go and see um, um, Gakuto at the elementary school on the observation day. So by the time the event comes around, uh, we do get to see basically all of the brothers together watching over uh, Gakuto as he performs in class and that was absolutely fantastic so moving into episode 10 uh, which is Mikato and uh, Makoto and his little brothers now this focuses or this episode focuses a little bit more on Makoto and also his relationship with his younger brothers so uh, the younger brothers of course being Minato and Gakuto um, the Yuzuki family's four brothers cherish, cherish each other deeply among them. The second son, which is uh, Makoto, uh, we get to basically see some flashbacks in, re uh, in regards to Makoto's life with <laughs> Minato. And, um, of course, how he has actually come to love his brothers and, um, of course, with this, they also use the episode to see, uh, basically the birth of the youngest brother, being Gakuto, and with it, we get to see how Minato changes around his youngest brother, Gakuto. <laughs> really clever. I love the way it's, the story is set up, and I have really enjoyed how the story has continued so far. Now, episode 11, uh, 11 was really well thought of, and I think this one takes uh, the role of the view of, it's either back to Minato, or back to, yeah, mainly Minato um, in this, but we also have the other brothers worrying about Hayato. So, in this, we have Hayato catches a code, Makato, Minato, and Gakuto are eager to care for Hayato and handle the situation with care, but in regards to all situations like this, uh, they do eventually realise that they are going to need some extra help, but in the process of this episode, their neighbours have actually travelled to a hot spring, uh, for a bit of a three-day vacation, if I were to guess. 
and uh, whilst they're at their, this hot spring, uh, they're trying to do everything in their own care to look after Hayato, and and as this has occurred, um, they do realise that they do need some extra help. So by the time that they do actually make the call, uh, we do learn with how the story rolls out is. So when Minato does actually call the neighbours who were on the trip, because they were told, if you need, need anything, call us. So basically, their number is there for emergencies. And um, they do use the number in regards to emergency. And of course, on main we uh, on some weekends we do learn that there are some hospitals that will not work that day. But because they see the neighbour as like a bit of an auntie, um, she actually knows someone who does work on weekends. So who like works over the public holidays or whatever, or just weekends overall. To which she is able to get some help for Hayato, uh, gets him the medication, um, helps to take care of him at home, as well as looking after the kids, and of course still looking after her own kids, as well as her father. <laughs> it's really, really nicely done. So, jumping into episode 12, and uh, this is called The Day-to-Day -Day Lives of the Yuzuki family for sons and in this the synopsis is Gakugo has won a diary wondering what to write as an entry Makoto mentions that you can also write about um things that happen to you including thoughts and and with this story we actually get a little bit more um of a perspective from Gakuto and with this he sort of uses the time with also his diary to interview his older brothers or his brothers that are older than him and also to learn a little bit more of how they grew up and how each of them sort of like changes from the other or how each of them is a little bit different than the other. He learns about Hayato and his past and how he felt like when the first or his um brother or like his first brother was to turn up on the scene uh, we do actually learn like throughout the whole series is that there is a age difference between all of the brothers and then after that we move into a situation to which um Gakuto asks Minato a question then not long after that Makoto also interacts <laughs> And um, Minato mentions that he sees his youngest brother being Gakuto like a bit of an angel. Um, then, of course, he mentions like a silly thing, like he likes watching his brother breathe. In other words, he loves that his youngest brother is alive. And, um, of course, Minato, uh, no, not Minato, Mikoto steps in and he also mentions the same thing about Minato. But he also adds a little bit extra, saying, I'd love him if he was alive or dead. So, <laughs> even though Minato hasn't quite grasped that side of things yet, um, you do get a bit of an understanding as to how he sees his older brother. But he also applies um, to his youngest brother, Gakuto, is that he sort of sees him as a little bit of a rival because he's the youngest in the family. And my goodness. Okay, that's the end of that. Now it's time to jump into the area of the afterthoughts of this series. And uh, wow, this has been one incredible journey. And this is why I'd really love to see this series continue in a second season. That's right. I want to see second two of this season. Not immediately, but I would like to at least hear news of a second season of the Yuzuki Family Four Sons. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed the animation. I enjoyed the side characters as much as I enjoyed the main characters. Uh, I must admit, the cast of characters, though they're not very big, it's actually quite easy to follow along. 
And that is another good thing about this series, because you never know um, in whose viewpoint that you're going to be watching the episode in. Like, for the beginning, I thought the first episode was actually going to be seen from, like, the eldest brother's point of view. Well, I was wrong. It was not the eldest brother's point of view that we were seeing this happen. No, 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 no. It's the third brother's point of view. <laughs> then after that, it's then brought to the second brother's, and then it's to the fourth brother's point of view. And that's just how some of the episodes go. And it's really nice to see, like, when we get, like, little things to which might pertain of, okay, who was their first best friend to, who was sort of, like, their first favourite brother. <laughs> really well done. Um, I'd also have to include that I have absolute, absolutely enjoyed the opening and ending soundtracks. Um, into this particular story, and I, I want to see where this story continues in the next season. I am eager. Now, there's another series that I've been watching around the same time as this, and that it's called Miggy and Dali, but of course, that's going to end up getting its own separate review um, outside of this, and I must admit, this series this series has become an exception to the rule. And what I mean by an exception to the rule is that sometimes when I'm watching a series and knowing that it might be ongoing or whatever, um, in regards to sort of like my exception to the rule, I don't normally wait for like, the next episode to come out, I, I, I usually like to watch things as, like, a whole set or a completed series, but with this series, when it sort of came out, I saw it there, and I thought, huh, do I check it out or not check it out, and of course, I started watching the first episode, and after the first episode, I was pretty much hooked, after that, uh, here I am watching episode after episode after episode each week, wanting to know where the story was going, and the fact that I've actually watched all, every episode as it's come out, goes to letting me know is that, okay, there might be small underrated stories out there that have great, wholesome, um, little elements in it but they're definitely worth picking up and watching and I would say this about this series this series is worth picking up and watching yes you might be consider unrated yes it's family it, literally the whole family could watch this series and enjoy it it doesn't matter how many kids you have in it <laughs> but you would definitely enjoy the series uh, no matter how young or old you are. So moving in into the next thing, and that is the rating of the series. So um, oh, how do I go about the rating of this series? Should I cover the soundtrack first and maybe leave the ratings for hmm, the main characters and story last? Or do I cover the animation well, I might as well stick to how I usually do it, and that is, okay, main characters and their role, supporting characters, or no, main characters, their rating, supporting characters, their rating, soundtrack, its rating, uh, animation, its rating, and finished last but not least with the story rating. So main characters, of course, the main characters in this series are, in fact, the four brothers. I must admit, I really enjoyed watching the characters of these four brothers um, growing within the series, and as you got to see them grow, like in each episode, we also got a different perspective of each brother in each of the episodes, and the how things play out with each of the brother in each episodes. 
Uh, for that, I will give an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the supporting characters, such as the neighbor, well, mainly the neighbor, some of the workmates, and how they were involved in the story. Now, with the area of the workmates, especially with Hayato and with him being a teacher, uh, I really liked how they went out of the way to sort of like help him and also realize that uh, his happiness is as important as everyone else's. And with that, um, it, he should also be able to enjoy time with his family as well, though he, though his only family that might be left are his actual four brothers, and in the process that it's also important for him to enjoy his time with whatever family he has got and where he lives. Um, Moving into the area of the next door neighbor. Now, one thing I sort of didn't expect with the neighbor thing, um, because in it we end up meeting a couple of characters. One character is being Waka, uh, spelled W A K A, and uh, Uta. And of course, we end up meeting their mother, who gets seen as a bit of an auntie. And uh, we learned that she's someone who also, like, works in the police force, in the story, of course. And um, how she also has gone through things in her family. And even the grandfather, or basically their grandfather, basically who they meet at the beginning or earlier in the or who we get to see earlier in the story, um, especially in Gakuto's story, as to sort of like how that came across and not long after that situation of him looking after Gakuto that his family end up moving into his house and he also gets to sort of like look after them as well as enjoying time with the family as well as with the neighbor as they also help their or in other words they've become like two helping families with each other for that, I give an 8.5 out of 10. Next is the area of the soundtrack. I absolutely enjoyed the soundtrack through the beginning all the way to the end here. And the way even the opening and ending of the series was amazing too. And it really suits the story, but it also suits the characters. And I and I'd like to see how that would actually change in the second season. If they do a second season to this actual um, story of the Yuzuki Family Four Sons. For that, I give an 8 out of 10. Like a straight 8. Um, next is the area of the animation. I think the animation for what it was and what we ended up getting in it, we did actually have some scenes where it like took some things from real life, but it still kept like the main um, animation in regards to the story and the characters. For this, I will give it a eight out of 10. It might actually end up increasing, especially if it's seen again in a second season. Um, uh, another thing too is with some of the animation where it does sort of like incorporate a little bit of the reality it was sort of like more so seen within like certain episodes so more so towards the end of the story and it also makes me wonder too is this particular story actually based on a real life story of like maybe one of the characters in relation to the story, but of course things are changed. But the story of the characters is actually quite real. So last but not oh for the animation, yeah, an eight out of ten. Last but not least is the area of the story. And I must admit, from beginning to end to which we get to see things start off with Minato, basically ending off with Gakuto. <laughs> but in the process, in the beginning, we also get to see 
how things play out with um, uh, Hayato, Mikato, uh, Minato, of course. <laughs> we get to see a lot of growth from each of these characters and also see how they, imp or they play a part in a lot of input in regards to the characters, whether it's like learning new things to basically overcoming things and even projects that they have also been a part of within the story. For this, I give the overall story an 8.5 out of 10. I, I would definitely re-watch this series again. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day. <laughs> Sami